Hello, and welcome to another episode of Red Razor Wolf Plays West of Loathing. Did you ever get those medical supplies this guy needed? Nope, still don't have your broken leg pills. I think I found some medical supplies, but not what he's looking for. Alright, Mr. Chef, what do you do with your hot dog stand? Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Red, howdy yourself. Sign outside. Had to change the name. Tried to file a trademark and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. <laughs> what is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, a single letter removed and I'm in business. I have no idea what a hot dog is and I actually don't want to know. We created the actual hot dog. That's not too bad. But it's just a uh, buffs for the day, I guess. If I could use that on the poor leg guy. Yeah, well, none of this looks too useful to me. It's still nice to see his little restaurant up and running. But if I keep saving people, all these things will get filled up. Was I ever able to bring anybody else to justice? Did do that. Stripey hat gang. Although I can't wear their hats because if I do, everyone will hate me. Poster is this black hat bandit. Horse theft at selling of counterfeit glue. Last seen headed north toward the old millinery. No good can come of criminals with access to hat making machinery. Alright. I guess I'll go make sure they don't make counterfeit glued hats. Apparently you can get arrested around here for a lot of random things. Hey, I need to get my horse coming through. Thank you. I feel like I've cleared everything down here. Well, there's gotta be more stuff here, right? There is so much blank space. And I tried to go there and a cow ate me alive. I guess we'll go to Snake Spring next. Why not? Pass an abandoned campsite and an old crate catches your eye. On closer inspection, you find it's nailed shut. Maybe the campers used to sit on it and then forgot to take it with them. Their loss is your gain. You have a crowbar to pry it open. I do have a crowbar. Oh. Alright. I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I love how I got a skin buff just from running into a... Uh... Oh no! When they say Snake Spring... They meant that quite literally. Endless stream of snakes pours out of a hole in the canyon wall. Let's grab a big one and see what happens. Well that's not very big. Oh, but it's got a ton of HP. At least it's not a coal snake this time, so it'll actually take some damage from my fire spells. Yeah, it's pretty hard too. Bing. Yeah, it was just a tiny little snake. Not really gonna be skinnable. And can I go behind this thing? Is there anything here? Do I just fight snakes to my heart's content? I need a snake stuff, I guess. Go ahead and grab a handful just to see what happens. This is where I wish I had uh, the ability to use the northern bean. any of them. Okay, he's pretty strong back there. But that's okay. If they all hit me, they might be able to take me down. But I think we can get rid of a few of them before we even start this fight. There we go. That's the one to be scared of. He's going to be a tough guy. 
least I got my blood bean going. Yeah, I think I can take him out with two pistol shots, so I'll let her deal with this one back here. Wait, what? I didn't read what that said. Why did she did she have to shoot the front line before she could shoot the back line kind of thing? Such as it is. And they always attack me. Why does anyone ever attack her? She's a strong one. Just a beam lancer. I could put our mage on the front line for whatever reason. Snake spleen and a snake liver. And of course, snake feet. Get the feeling that's all there is to do here. I guess if I ever need snake livers or snake spleens, I know where to go. What do you think? I had a snake fountain bust open near the ranch once. It was a real pain in the hindquarters. Are you setting up a gag where it turns out you were literally bit on the hindquarters? Well, not anymore, I ain't. <laughs> Uh, ruined your joke. Wander around on this side of the map a little bit. No, don't go down. Go back up. Covered a coal ridge mine. You going where you going? That's where that. Those pills are supposed to beat that guy needed. Huh. Shout well more of a loud hiss. A skeleton leaps at you from the underbrush. He's wearing a cavalry hat and has a cavalry saber, but isn't riding a cavalry horse. I'm pretty sure is the main thing that differentiates. Alright, with the cavalry horses again, or the cavalry guys again. Seem like the guys on this side of the world are just much stronger than the ones on that side. Yeah, see, that hurts a lot. I think we can take him. Oh gosh, he's gonna cut me down. I need more AP. Maybe just stronger AP. What are we talking about? <clears throat> hey there, Susie. I think there's another ranch in this area. Don't know nothing about it. It's pretty new. Okay, we'll take a look. What do you think we should do next? Yeah. Alright, I know about that train by now. What we got in this mission? Oh, it's just a nurse. This place isn't so bad. The pulpit's been pushed back against the wall. Gosh, a real life nun. Er, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Red Razor Wolf. What's with the cots? Well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be greater served by running this place as a clinic rather than a church. I also sell medical supplies if you'd like a healing to go. Yeah. Need the errands run or anything? Funny you should ask, I've been experimenting with the healing properties of purple grass that grows near here. But I've run out. Alright, a humming cave. Would you mind picking some up for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it looks like she threw all of her church stuff up against the back. Not yet. I wanted to buy some medical supplies. Broken leg pills. All this other stuff is just buffs. Alright, nurse woman. Can I sneak by you and look at your medical supplies? Nope. That seems to be all we got going here. I got his broken leg pills at least. <laughs> lazy A dude ranch. Oh, lazy A. Yeah, I get it. There's a crate land and the dust on the trail it has a pickaxe stenciled on the side, but it isn't clear if that's what's to indicate the contents, destination, or opening instructions. Get with the crowbar. Oh, 
Alright. But there was no pickaxe in it, which is what I wanted. Need a pickaxe. About the grass I need right there. Ah, that was pretty easy to find. Hmm. Rocks are weirdly organized. They are. Can I kick them around? I need to unorganize them some. It's too much. I really need a pickaxe, so I'm going to come look at all these caves and mines. I know you're going to keep finding meat veins. Oh, that's going to attack me. Aw, oh, if you could push this over, you could stop it from attacking you. I'm not that strong. Struggle it is, then. But what kind of struggle? Electrified snake, you say. Alright, the snake got some strength. What is with the friggin' health of these things? Well, why am I so weak? It's a better question. Look at that crap. It's crazy. My god, it's useless. More damage than what I was doing before. Maybe they're just trying to make these fights so that they're not too easy. I'm getting zapped by a friggin' snake! But yeah, we still got it. That regen is some good stuff. Now I got an electrified snake skin. Electric snakes live a rough life. I wonder if I put the snake skin on my hat if I can get it back. Oh, what is that thing? Oh! It's portal. What in the world? Got me. That does look dangerous. Monolith is really dark. Like there was a huge cave in at some point. And a weird device. Range stone arrow. <laughs> so what the heck is this place? Like an alien spaceship I found, maybe? Oh, doesn't look like we got anything else going on here. There gotta be more to that. But I don't think I can figure it out right now. I could have pushed this over. Hey, can I go in his cave now that I can see him? No. Well, that seems to be all we got here. Kind of weird. Got anything interesting to say about the snake cave? Dang, you hear that? What is that? High pitch by the noise. No idea. Not stick around any longer than we got to. That noise will drive me crazy. Try me spare. Who says try me spare? Yeah. I ain't a fan of uh, high pitch noises either. I can see that. Well, let's go see what the lazy butts are doing. Hey, who's the professor? Strange stone arrow you just found starts going crazy, beeping and booping, whirling around on its own accord. Practically dragged you in the direction of a strange, decrepit looking house. Is it a meat vein? Nope, that is a burn mark. Well, doesn't look like the lazy dudes made it very well. Oh, soap! <laughs> I needed soap for so long. These people are still alive. What's up? He like howdy, I'm selling herbal remedies. Care to buy? What kind of herbal remedies? The kind that are gifted to us by Gaia without any interference by human hands. So, weeds? <laughs> That's a derogatory term created by the man. But yeah, basically. I'll take one. Doesn't do anything. Thank you. Oh no. This is friggin' like set up a little colony here on this old branch. Howdy, I'm Red. I'm Louise, Louise Lathrop. By the long face, Louise. Oh geez, basically because I'm stuck here farming with a couple of dummies who don't know how to farm a dang thing. 
So they just let the weeds grow and call it natural. <laughs> I'm so sick of eating dandelions I could scream. How'd you get in this predicament? I headed west after graduating bacon school and fell in with these guys because they talked a big game about natural grains. Fool that I was, I didn't realize all they were really interested in was getting silly on loco weed and not doing any work. Why don't you leave that? I haven't got any meat or any other prospects or anywhere to go. I mean, dandy vines are terrible, but they're better than eating dirt. That is such a mess. Hmm. Looking for work? Yeah, desperately. The only trade I know is bacon, though. You know somewhere that's hiring a baker? Heck, even unpaid would be better than this when it comes with a room and a board. I just want to get out of here. Don't, no, sorry, but I'll go see if I can find one. Can I take some manure? Nope. Hey, howdy man, what's happening? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, not much man, we moved on to this little patch of land to grow crops. But then we decided it's more natural just to let Gaia grow whatever she wants, right? But that's a lot easier too. Aha, <laughs> right on man. Alright. Where'd you get that hat? That's what I want to know. Well, this friend of mine made it. Man, um, I forget which one. What do you'll take for it? Well, I have been look, thinking of trying a new style, man. Maybe like one of those hats the army guys used to wear back in the day. Like, kind of ironic. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a new fort. It's not Fort Guard. It's Fort All Dead. Swap with you if you can find him one of those. Alright. Really wish this had like a quest log, because I've been asked, or people have been telling me to do a ton of stuff. I've kind of just been stacking them up and then forgetting about them. So yeah, it's literally just weeds over here. You guys want to plant something? Anything? Can I pick up the manure and plant it over there? People are stressing me out. Plant a tomato. Do something. Ugh, wannabes. Farm pose <laughs> poachers. Yeah, they're the worst. Nice yurts, though. <laughs> I don't think they had nice yurts. They need to stop hanging out with the yurts. It's weird. I'm gonna go... Who the heck is this guy? Loud thock noise draws your attention and you follow the sound to a man in a once white apron who is butchering a bighorn sheep or some other large desert animal with an oversized and heavy looking meat cleaver. As he's hauling the implement up on his shoulder for another blow, he catches sight of you and hisses with a wild look in his eye. Who's there? Don't test me boy, I'll chop you up like this goat or whatever it is. I'll help you out, what are we doing? Easy there, you're a butcher, right? You know chef magic? Huh? Oh, you're a bean slinger. I know a couple little things. I never studied it for real. Might be able to teach you a little telekinesis. Should help you handle that cleaver more easily. Raise his awareness telekinetically. Spend some time teaching the butcher how to manipulate objects with his mind. At least well enough to make his cleaver seem a little lighter. Not a bad thing. Help the poor guy out. Hey, I brush you some purple grass. Yep, there you go. Wonderful, thanks so much. Brought her purple grass. They have to get out of it. Oh, talk to a horse. Got the hat gang there. Professor to talk to. I don't really like the skeletons. The skeletons stress me out. The gang to get here. The gang was supposed to be weaker than that gang. Or at least they were. What are you doing here? Smell it before you see it. A skeleton trudging towards you covered with mud and muck and smelling like garbage juice. Must have crawled out of some horrible bog nearby. And if the skeleton smells this bad, the bog must be unimaginable. It makes sense that even a skeleton <laughs> would want to get away from there. What you got, skeleton bog man? Oh, a smeleton, come on. Poor guy's had a hard enough life. Look how he's got a cat tail. Oh no, I need to beat the crap out of me with it. He hit me with the stank. 
I'm sure I'm gonna take damage from that. Oh. At least it's not too bad. You got him. Put him back where he belongs. And full of loose teeth. Gold chips. Alright, a real jail. Non fake horses. Genuine TNT and sandwiches. Town hall. For an actual town. Hmm. You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Right, what does that mean? The whole town's fake! Of course it is. They're gang. I wonder if I can do anything with these. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just flat plywood. Like a theatrical set. Hmm. The ropes that are holding this thing up don't look very strong. You can knock it over pretty easy. You should probably hold off until just the right moment. That doesn't seem safe at all. I guess I need to go talk to who those people are. I'm pretty sure that's the Potemkin gang pretending to be people here, huh? So maybe you need to figure out which ones are worth a... What's the matter, buddy? Lost my belt buckle. Alright. If I could blow up the TNT stand. Ask him to stand near the TNT stand. I shout that place is condemned. It's not safe to go over there and runs over to stop you. Oh, okay, I see. Not that, that guy's there. I could blow him up. Oh, and she's running away for her life. Oh, she's in front of the TNT stand too. All right, I guess you can go look in front of jail. Look near the jail. All right. I think that's how you want to do this. Basically, you're trying to take them out without fighting them. No, it doesn't look safe. Let me push the button. The idea is to drop it on that guy's head, right? If I do it. They're all standing in places they shouldn't be. Let me hit those buttons. Yeah, what they're going for, they want me to take them out. If I get them all in front of the jail, maybe. You go away somewhere else. Keep running. Crap, I need to get him in front of the jail first. Okay, we can do that. I just gotta get her to run one more time. There we go. Good job, guys. I guess it wants to make me put them all in the same place. I'm just gonna drop the jail on them. Could blow them all up in front of the TNT stand. This thing violent. Got the ropes. Turns out it was just a theatrical set, but not held up very well. Also, how could they not see me running back and forth through the uh, outhouse? Hey, we could time up. Take him to jail. For once, I actually got a gang without killing them all. Pushed a jail over on them. What? Never mind. The first time I've got some people in jail. Which one do they hide? <laughs> so, technically, I could have arrested all of these people. But I killed the crap out of them. That's kind of disappointing. Who's the last one? The Gherkin brothers. The kidnapping, <clears throat> brining, kidnapping victims, and attempting the sale of human flesh for consumption. Oh no, they're throwing people into pickles. Last scene headed for the abandoned pickle fact. 
go get them at some point. Maybe not right now. Or a few more things I wanted to do here. Surprised she can't open a bakery over there. I don't think I need anything at the post. I brought you your broken leg pills. Here you go. Phew, thanks. I feel like a new man. Or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? Something about those bones. Maybe you get back into the kitchen. I feel like I'm supposed to give these guys something I never did. There you go. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. Called a murder pepper. Because it's really spicy. Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. The girl in the area outside of town would be able to find one if you just wander around for a while. I have a murder pepper by chance? No, I do not. I don't want to find a pepper that just randomly murders me. Need more slop today. I don't really want to play poker. Hey, do you need a baker? Heard you had something interesting back there. I did hear a story. Not sure what you're talking about. Maybe my info's too old. I found a note from some travelers that passed through about eight years ago. Oh yeah, that was the previous bartender. He had a uh, little trick he used to show other people. That's what got him fired eventually. Senator's wife wasn't amused. What? He rummages around under the bar for a minute and blows the dust off of a tiny piano about nine inches tall. Here, you can keep the piano as long as you don't ask me about the trick. No, that's not... I don't want to think about that. We're going to pretend like he just played a tiny piano with his hand. Nope, everything's right as rain here. If you're looking for work, you might ask at the jailhouse. Chance you need a, uh... Oh, who is this one? Nope, she's still mad at me. Mad at somebody. Oh, what do you think we should do next? I don't want to go to the train yet. There's so much left to do. Make sure there's... Maybe I got a telegram here or something. Hey, I got a package from Rufus. What you got, Rufus? Oh, nice. He found a book. In the world? Color scheme just went wonky. I'm very confused. Alright, we got a few skills here. Buttered bean reduces, the, makes other people weaker. Bean wall creates a wall of beans that provides cover from ranged attacks. And wary, field that increases your maximum AP. I think I want that. Yeah, now I just have some better AP. I didn't trust that book anyway. Look what it did to my screen. Send Roof as a telegram. Nothing new. Alright, well, suddenly it's all sepia instead of black and white. It's really weird. But anyway, I think that's a good place to end this one. If you like watching me play West of Loathing, I hope you'll like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time.